So here's a painting I've done of, um, based on the stepper point in Cornwall. And again, I've blocked in the colour. I've started to put some texture into it. I'm quite pleased with the composition. I feel that it's very dead around here and I need to sort of bring this sky to life and then probably soften this off. This also, that's not very straight at the moment. That one needs straightening. Um, quite like this area around here and the beach. Not sure um, whether we need anything else going in there. So I'm just going to uh, pick up my brush now that we've got a, a nice dry canvas and I've got a nice warm cup of coffee. Uh, I'm going to sit here and put a few more brush strokes on and see if I can start to resolve this uh, as a beautiful Cornish late afternoon sky. I'm just going to play around a bit with some of these because there's some lovely turquoise coming in here. I think we could exaggerate that a bit. But perhaps initially in glazes rather than in too much strong colour. Glaze into that mode a bit, soften it off. See where she goes. idea there coming in. No, that's a bit too too green. I don't like that green, just wipe that green off. Brushes there and the floor. Lost the shape, the step of point, which is what that match out in. Damn, just lost the shape of the headland. A bit too, bit too gung ho with that one to keep that heavy shape. But keep that softness going on there, a bit pink here. A little bit more pink Again, it's, it's quite soft. This is this sky is much much softer than some of my other skies. I think this is. I just want a feeling of slight, you know, sort of gentleness, so that it's not as dramatic and over fighting each other. Some of, some of my skies are very. There's a lot of action, and I quite like the feeling. This is quite relatively calm. A bit of a pale mauve coming into the bottom there. Into that sea. And then we've got this lovely, quite thick surf that's coming in here. No, it needs a different brush for that, I think. Well, that needs just softening up a bit as well. Now, the colour of the headland is a little bit wrong, but let's just at least bring this light shape, we just define it a bit more along there. And then I think the headland will need a repaint. Make it right. Yeah, 
you get a wet brush you can cut that blue back in just by washing off some of the glazes a bit more colour define that line a little bit more you can actually see the pencil on the horizon there so it's helping and this is quite quite creamy but it's not white I think in that look, look a bit of blue or something. Oh, not that much. Let's just tint it down. Take that massively over so it's a little bit so. It's probably enough. And then you've got that lovely splash there of what looks like almost pure Naples yellow that's coming there. Yeah but with white. That's better than a little bit there. And then that is a bit more oakery. But again lighter, so a bit put some put some sienna in and white and a good dollop of gel. Getting too fussy. yellow mauve over there onto this headland. Got to have that definition. And a little bit of green I think. Touch of green on the headland. a darker grey at the top, so let's just mix the darker, just mix the dark grey to put into there and into the island. Again, the light's now beginning to fade, and I think the best thing I can do with this is just let it dry. The hair just come on now, let's just take that hair off. It sticks on. Let it dry um, and have another reassess with the second layer to see where the sky is going. There's something not quite right here, and I think these rocks will need a bit of a tidy up. And actually, I've just seen now that that top of the cliff has lost its def defined edge just there so I think that needs to be defined in a little bit more I think I'm going to pull that in now so that we don't lose it and then I'll check to make sure we've got if you're doing a particular cliff that needs to be the right shape but actually it's got more depth to it I'm, I'm quite pleased with that now again I think this is probably a second of three stages on this painting and I'm just going to leave it to dry again uh, another couple of days and then come back and have another look and a reassess. <laughs> 